Uh, this poem I wrote three years ago before I moved to California. And the context was that I had been part of a community that I was very comfortable in. And as a white convert to Islam, there's not that many communities that are sort of centered around our particular needs. So I was very happy in this community. And this community was also the community where I transitioned to following the way of the Ahlul Bayt. And so it was my first Chi community. And so I was very attached to it. And I decided to move to California for a variety of reasons. And I was afraid um, of letting go of that. And so that's the context of this poem. Salawat al Muhammad al Humanity's story from beginning to end is written in pages no human can amend. From where did we come and to where shall we go? There are so many details that only one can know. But I do not need to know the whole plot, for my heart is lost on the same spot. In the sands of Iraq, under the blazing sun, I find deep conviction in the promise of one. At the feet of my Imam, in love with Hussein, the pathway to pleasure is riddled with pain. So I'll saddle my horse, once again I must ride, in the comfort of friends I can no longer hide. To distant shores I must travel, miles to go before sleep, to offer what I have, for my life is not cheap. I will only spend it on a life without fear, in the abiding trust he is always near. My Hussein, come with me, please stand by my side, so that my studies and labors fill you with pride. The tears of I have cried inspire my work, fighting against whispers that always lurk. Muslim scholars once studied more than just their own faith, so embracing diversity should not feel unsafe. A false choice to choose between mosque and the world when in history's pages Hussein's flag was unfurled. For the whole world's a stage and we can never forget the scene of 680 when two armies met. One was for truth filled with family and friends and the other for falsehood seeking the basest of ends. And even though death fell hard upon the first, it left this seeker with an undying thirst. As if Hussein's absence is a void in human life that can only be filled in that land without strife. So what can you give me, O people of earth? Instead of showing me Hussein, you offer far less in worth. I was created for heaven, and my Lord set the price. My life for his gifts, I don't have to think twice. No matter how much I travel, or read, or love, nothing will slake me except my master above. At the end of my days, with nothing left to give, I hope I'll look back at the life I choose to live and see how Hussein gave me both earth and sky and promised me victory through every tear I cry. Even though the end seems far, soon it will come, and I pray for acceptance of the work I will have done. My dreams can be found near gardens and rivers that flow, but I only will get there by being fearless here below. Salawat al-Muhammad.